I've really enjoyed the art that that uh, this gentleman Yildere Sinar is bringing to us. I, I really liked his art style. Mm, a lot of good detail. Ray. <laughs> yes. A lot of good detail, though. Um, but yeah, I recommend the read. Nice. Yeah, I gotta Please. catch up on that here soon. Makes you laugh, makes you cry, makes, makes you, you cry. Die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes you even more want to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly just death. Yeah. Good Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So, my books for the week. Wh yeah. Wh wh I guess. Wh what you got? I got. I got this week. Oh, so wow. I did have I did have um flash number sixty seven I believe wow something like that sixty nine maybe I don't remember I did not read that one today uh -oh. because I had hit girl number three out today which I read two and three I had right. Batman who laughs number four out today, and I read Batman Who Laughs the Grim Knight and Batman Who Laughs number four today. And I had Red Hood Outlaw number 33, and I read number 32 and 33 today. I'm not talking about any of those, because my pick of the week is Aliens Resistance. Finally. Number three. Finally. I've been super excited for this book for a really long time since I fig found out who was going to be in it. Zula, Hen Z Zula Hendricks and Amanda Ripley. Oh. Amanda Ripley. That's a familiar name in the Alien franchise. Yeah, Ripley. And then... Believe it or not. W weird, I know. Um, Amanda oh, Ripley oh. is Ellen Ripley's daughter, who was the main protagonist. <laughs> 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 the vampires? Yeah, the vampires. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was drinking I, his red water. You, <laughs> oh no. You can't convince me you're not a vampire now. <laughs> My if bad. only this was live. <laughs> it like to go outside in the, the True day. Sign. Yeah. True that. Can't eat real food. I, I don't have uh, these teeth uh, that you know of. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could we get a little further off track, please? Uh, <laughs> Alien. I heard today. <laughs> Ripley. Uh, yeah, so Amanda Ripley is the main protagonist in the Alien Isolation um, video game, which is a ah. good video game. It's pretty legit. Kind of scary. Don't like survival games though, so you know. Wasn't that uh, also a stealth game? Yeah, yeah, survival and stealth, my yeah. two least favorite genres. Recently, just brought out on IGN, they did the little mini series where they yeah. just kind of showed you the cutscenes of everything. Yeah, oh, cool. Which tells the story. So yeah. if you don't want to play the game, watch those. But if you want to play the game, I highly recommend it. Yeah. I've watched it being played because you know millennials and <laughs> let's plays. Anyways, um, Zula Hendricks is the main character for Alien Defiance, which was a 12-part miniseries, 2016, 17, somewhere around there. Um, I think written also by Brian Wood, which who is the author of Alien Resistance, which is the book we're talking about. Um, but both of them based off against the aliens. Um, androids were involved in both, so very alien-y. Um, Zula met, had a friend. His name is Davis. He died. He was an android. Ah, it, was a whole th it was a whole thing. You should read the books. It was a good time. <laughs> um, do androids really die? Or do they dream of electric sheep? You know what else is a good video game about androids? <laughs> the trick become human. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, but we're not talking about that either. Um, what would be aliens without an android? Exactly. True that. Exactly. So, we pick up 
in the first book, Zula gets Amanda, they go off, and um, basically Wayland Yutani is trying to silence them and be like, nothing happened. Aliens are fine. They're totally all gone. Don't worry about it. We're tech totally not using them as bioweapons. Not at all. Wow. Because, you know, Wayland Yutani. Um, so they go off and they're like, we need to take down Wayland Yutani and stop them from using the aliens, the xenomorphs, as as weapons. And um, that's what they're doing, basically. Where, where was this in the timeline? Um, almost right after Ripley disappears. So it's in between Alien and Aliens. Oh, okay. Somewhere okay. in there. Okay, cool. Yeah. And this is like, they are so, so these are trying to get that colony made where LG42 or something. 426. Yeah, LV426. Yeah, LV426. I was thinking of a phone model, maybe. Oh, <laughs> that's the same planet, right? That's the alien planet. And so, like, that's cool. Like, in between the times, so that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Yet they couldn't find her. <laughs> um, <laughs> space is big. It's a lot of space. There, there is a lot of space. Um... So in the third book, Choice of the Week, I'm going to open this boy up. Awesome art um, by Robert Carey. Yeah, Robert Carey. It still captures the the dark claustrophobicness of the Alien franchise, which is, like, the most, like, scary thing about yeah, it, it's, honestly. It's definitely <laughs> an edge-of-your-seat thing to d it it has been voted. stuck in enclosed spaces. Those movies are still a hit for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I think still to this day it's vo Alien is still voted the scariest movie of all time. Oh. Huh. Yeah, because I mean, of like, the classic movie. Yeah, for sure. No joke, that movie, I've watched that movie like several dozen times for various reasons, but that movie freaks me out because I hate, I'm claustrophobic. Yeah. That shit fucks me oh, up. Yeah. No Same. way. I can't go to space even though I want to go to space. <laughs> I'll go to space. I'm not claustrophobic. But that's that's cool that they have that feeling. Who does the covers for these? I think it's the same person. Because the one thing I like about the franchise is oh, when I've seen yeah. the comics is they always keep that Geiger esque yeah, style feel of the definitely. Alien. If you if you're into it, it's gonna draw you in even further for sure. I think you might be thinking of the William Gibson um, Alien Three covers, but I mean. They're, they're still good covers. Oh yeah, they're it's super cool. They they I love the the xenomorph yeah, the way sure. they have it. For, they put it, get the humans out of there to show the xenomorph, right? Um, I mean, I really like Amanda Ripley in Zoo Hendrix. So oh, where did the xenomorph make the photo bomb in a cover last week? Uh, that was Venom. In Venom, that's but it right. wasn't a xenomorph. Oh, it wasn't a xenomorph. No, it looks like a xenomorph, though. Oh, I, was, I so thought it was like a. It's not a xenomorph. It's oh, wow. Venom's new villain person. Oh. You and should look a little bit closer so you xenomorph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but the cover for this third book here, uh, is by Tristan Jones. Okay. I don't. But yeah. Um. Look at this first page. That's awesome. I just really like the art. It's good art. That is pretty cool. And Amanda Ripley and Zula Hendricks are now best friends, and I love it. Um. Long story short, Davis didn't die because Zula went back for his like uh, memory box. <laughs> right. It because it's like there's core or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, there is there's a history there that I'm not gonna get into because it gets weird. Um, oh, but they're like BFFs. It's fine. That slept together. It's cool. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, but so lonely in space. Yeah. Um, Amanda Ripley, Zula Hendricks, were there. They were going to a planet to stop Wayland Utani, and they were like shadowing this uh, carrier that was carrying over 12,000 people. They were supposed to be 
sending them to a new planet to like start over and rebuild their lives um but they lost track of the the ship and then they went somewhere else and then they got back to the ship and the ship was empty Hmm. because you know that's what happens in space and then the ship started crashing onto this planet planet has a weird atmosphere that makes things hotter and and slower yeah it's it's strange um but they were outside their craft and they had to go through the atmosphere and they almost died but they didn't and it's fine i'd like to see the the, do they animate that well like that type of movement or whatever the slowness well space and then falling can't really tell oh okay but but it says that the that it's a much like dense yeah they say it later in the book um, but yeah, and the ship crashes down, and they see that there's no one in it, even though they scanned it, and there was no one in it, so it's obvious that there's no one in it, right. um, but they Ooh. find out, what? I was like, what did David do? <laughs> <laughs> um, but Davis's consciousness got stuck in a nuke that's on Zula and An- Amanda's, uh, ship. And so he's in control of a nuke, which oh is oh. a thing. Um, and they're down on this planet that apparently is like feeding grounds for super, um, what is it, uh, evolution of the alien creatures of the xenomorphs. Oh. And Weyland Yutani is just bringing people that nobody cares about to the planet so they can, like, feed, feed and recreate, re procreate and all that stuff. Oh, wow. And um, obviously lots of goriness, lots of acid blood dripping because, you know, aliens have acid blood. What? What? I know! I never knew. Till just now. Shut your mouth. Grandma? Grandma! (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hashtag jokers. Hashtag impractical jokers. Hashtag Kansas and Nebraska ball. Hashtag um, true TV. Hashtag you're probably going to hear us the fact that we both kicked this from this yeah. like, like a few dozen times. Yeah, it's fine though. Hashtag sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag sorry. Um, but yeah, they go on a search to go find the people and save them and they're like, we gotta go save these people and of course they run into aliens but then they run into these androids that are like super high tech and they don't know where they came from. They're like, Waylon Yutani must have made these androids and they're like b- bulletproof and stuff. Huh. But we gotta go because they're not reacting to us shooting them and that's not good. Oh, they're just not reacting? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's cool. Um, dun, dun, dun. No white milk blood? No, not from them. There was some white milk blood in the previous issue, though. Uh, There's lots of explodey bits. Uh, Android guts. It was a good time. Um, but Davis gets in contact with Zula, and uh, um, he's like, all of the colonists that were on that ship have a chip implanted in them by Wailing Utani that helps the xenomorphs find and hunt track them yeah track them and they also gather all the data that they need from all of that so I need you to bring me one of those chips and um I'm you guys gotta get back up to the ship and then I'm gonna nuke this this entire planet and that's where it ends oh (laughs) nice sweet so go into the lion's den and trust that I won't nuke you yeah I mean Davis saved Zula's life several times. Davis loves Zula. It's probably true. It's a little bit true. They love each other. It's fine. It's fine. Can't have the nuke love. He had glasses. Oh, really? He was a good... Yeah, (sighs) because... So Davis, he kind of was like a deviant. (laughs) Not to bring Detroit Become Human into this, but he wore these broken glasses because it made him see differently than all the and other androids. Uh. So specifically wore broken glasses.